well, you know, injury played a, a huge role, you know, in my in my development, you know, especially this season. And uh, you know, I'm looking forward to, to fixing that next season. You know, I know what I have to work on, I know my weaknesses. And behind the scenes, you know, I've been working with uh, with our physios, you know, the rehab team that have been helping me a lot, you know, physically, mentally, you know. So so I'm pretty sure that next season, coming to the next season, I'll be much better. You're a winning team now uh, within uh, Pirates, and then you've been, like, like you said, slowly getting back into action. Um, what has it been like watching the team doing well and uh, uh, going on some unbeaten streaks and now you to the final? What has it been like for you knowing that you will be coming back into a team that has been doing well? Well, it's been it's been heartwarming actually, you know, because here in the Orlando Pirates football team we are more of brotherhood, you know, we are united, you know, and we support one another. So I was quite happy to see the team winning, you know, and doing well and knowing that the competition is quite becoming uh, difficult, you know. You can't just come in and walk in and just play. You need to earn your spot and you need to work hard for that. I'm just going to go in and throw something off, of course. Um, your, your teammate um, is now playing in Europe. Uh, I mean, we, we, we all know that you grew up with him here and now he's doing things. He's all there and we saw your former coach or your childhood coach uh, going there to wish him well. Um, what does it all say to you and how much have you spoken to uh, the young man, knowing that you guys were tied from development growing up together here? Uh, it's really, I'm really happy for him, you know. Uh, I spoke, I speak to him almost like every week, you know, he video calls me. Even when uh, Coach Kalashis was there with him, they video called me with the family. And I was quite happy, you know, and, and I'm happy for him and the family. And, and for me, that's more of a motivation to say it's possible, you know. Nothing is impossible through hard work, dedication and discipline. You know, you can reach that level. Seeing Lyle there, I know you broke bread together uh, from the days and, and and looking at him. Is it more of a motivation that <coughs> if he can, so can you? No, definitely. It is a motivation. You know, he can only be motivated by such actions, you know, because he didn't even start, you know, at the top flight, but he started bit by bit, you know, and he is where he is because of his hard work and dedication. And it's not impossible for me also and for anyone else out there, you know, so yeah. Looking forward to that in the future. As you head back to the CAF Champions League, this is the platform that has also made it possible for the likes of Marshal Munetsky to be monitored in Europe. Um, are you also, um, besides just going to represent the team, also going with that kind of an approach to it? Well, for now, the main focus is for is in the, the final in the bank, you know. And then once the calf comes, you know, that's when we're going to focus on it. But now I'm focused fully on the Indian Cup, and I'm looking forward to that. So you probably one of the role models um, in the club, coming from the academy into the first team, coming a regular now. Um, there's a couple of other people on the fringes now, Giba, Atomo. Just um, a word on them on what you made of them since coming into the first team, and just maybe some advice for somebody that's been there gone through the hard yards, struggled and overcame the struggle. It's quite it's quite good to see the lads coming in, you know, and training with us and they're training really good, you know, and, and my advice to them is you must just keep humble, you know, and, and stay dedicated and work hard because when I came here I remember there was Happy Jelly. He took me under his wing, you know, and he showed me the way and he showed me the culture and me being here since I was twelve, eleven years old, you know. I've, I've, I've known how to how to handle and all that, you know, so I feel like he also helped me a lot. And, and now I feel like it's my responsibility also to help also the MTC side to, to when they come the side so I can show them the way and also help, um, also ask me help from Musa Maela and all that. Yes. Um, you mentioned a few buzzwords now that you would potentially pass to the, the younger generation. If I were to say that uh, your time with Pirates since being promoted and you know, it's been up and down has been underlined by patience, how much would that resonate? Very much so, very much so, because I had to be patient. I remember last season again, I didn't play a single match, but, you know, being resilient, you know, and never giving up, you know, I feel like that has played a huge role in my career and it still is going to play a huge role in my career. And I'm looking forward to the future as well, because you know, football, as I said, is not an individual sport, but a team sport also, you know. So once you feel like everything is just crumbling and coming down, 
just know that you will come back and never stop giving up and never stop working hard because you never know when your chance comes. And yeah, when you cry, don't cry with both your eyes closed, but with one eye closed. Mm -hmm. So when the chance comes, you just grab it and run away with it. Um, what aspects of your game would you say um, under coach um, Rivero has um, really improved and also there's been a focus on from the technical team and also like, what, how can you describe the impact that is had um, in the overall team this year? Tactically, you know, tactically uh, we've been learning a lot, you know, in terms of positional play, you know, and me being converted into a right back, you know, it was a struggle for me at first, you know, but I'm just getting the hang of it, you know, and all that. And, and, and I want to be the best in my position, you know. I want to excel in the position and I'm willing to work hard. You know, I review my games each and every after, after, after the match and I write my corrections, you know. So, tactically, I feel like that has been the biggest, biggest, biggest move in the coach, you know, and him actually supporting us, you know, and pushing us to be the best we can be. That has been the highlight. Talking about the reviewing and, and corrections, I'm sure individually you know, that never stop on one school. Where do you move on? I'm just gonna say it's not gonna be an easy game. You know, it's not gonna be an easy game. Yeah. <laughs> it's not gonna be an easy game and it's really important that we don't be too complacent, you know, it mustn't be too likes going to the game because it's a different ball game, it's a cup final, you know, nerves are gonna be there. So we're looking forward. You find them cool, pragmatic maybe in the approach? I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say so, you know. But as I said, we'll see on the day. But now what but <laughs> now I too much. <laughs> but, but but on the day it means now you're just traveling a few kilometers from your base. The game is in Gauteng. How much of that matters to you that you're not flying and going to the, the different crowd and atmosphere and all of that but everything is done around your province yeah it's, it's it's a bit of good side for us you know because you know we won't be having to travel long distances but at the same time that shouldn't play a psychology psychological uh, mind games on us you know we shouldn't be too lax as i said you know we're looking forward to the game as i said and we must do our best. Yeah. And how important is the show the first? You saw with Samba, so they didn't win the match, but the stadium was packed. And how important would be for the Baganias to make their team down to Sorry. It would be really important because they are our 11th man on the field, you know, and we really be, they're really behind us, you know, and we also love them also. So we encourage them to come and support us. Thank you.